Hey guys, Cameron here uh, from CameronPlumber.com and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how I use Evernote um, and what I do to stay organized basically. Um, well first of all, I use Evernote in the terms of, uh, well in the context of the David Allen system getting things done. So if you haven't read that book or anything about it, um, it's just a sim uh, pretty simple methodology for for staying organized and um, I just use a lot of his principles and um, to, to use in my system for uh, getting things done um, and you know if this helps you to get things done to uh, or just you know figure out a couple things to organize your Evernote um, that's great that's what this is for so um, first of all I'm gonna go through the, through my notebooks I'm gonna go through how I use the note itself um, I'm going to go through tagging, um, projects, project managing, and uh, save searches. So that's a little overview. Um, so over here on the left, we got my notebooks. So I have an actions notebook, and two sub notebooks, an inbox notebook, a projects notebook, and three other sub uh, notebooks, a reference notebook, and a sharing notebook which has um, one sub notebook so let's just start from the top um, so back actions uh, the back actions notebook is uh, things I want to do um, but just not right now because I don't really have the time um, so you know, all these things are not re related to a project also. So like right here, update my LinkedIn profile. That's just a one-off thing I can do. I could just go here. Okay, I want to up update my LinkedIn profile. I don't have to do any other actions to, to complete that, uh, that task. So those are back actions. Um, some other ones in here are uh, I have some guitar tabs. I want to learn some Mississippi Queen and Layla. I want to learn those songs. So I just need to sit down and just uh, practice. So those are pretty much one-off things. Um, yeah. Um, so in the next notebook, we have next actions. Now these are actions that are either uh, uh, one-off uh, tasks that I can do. So for example, uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, file papers in basket so I have some just random papers that I need to file away that is something I can just do sit down take five minutes and do it um, so uh, so I have tasks that aren't related to a project and tasks that are so the file papers in basket that's not related to a project um, but let's see um, draft consultation process that is related to a bigger project which we'll go over later it's part of um, uh, building my uh, web page for my uh, consulting services. Um, yeah, another point that uh, David Allen brings up in his book, Getting Things Done, is uh, complete all actions that take less than two minutes. So everything I have in here will take me over two minutes, pretty much. So, uh, you know, I kind of fudge that rule sometimes. Sometimes when I'm not gonna, I'm really deep into something, and I don't want to just go do something just randomly and, and you know switch my thinking and switch my switch my mode. Um, then I'll, I'll I'll put it in uh, uh, the next actions uh, uh, notebook, or I'll I'll put it in inbox. So inbox is a pretty um, standard thing within GDD. Um, an inbox is just like your email inbox. So that's where uh, you know anything that uh, any messages you get come. This is basically uh, messages that I've given myself. So it's anything I've captured that I'm just thinking, or, or it's anything pops in my head, and I, I know I want to do this, just not right now. I'll throw this into my inbox. So, uh, so I'll throw it into the inbox, and at, at, at some point in time, I'll come through here. And I'll got a cat in the way here. Okay. Okay. Cat's gone. 
So I'll, I'll, I'll process this in box. So that's a keyword. So the first, first thing in GDD is to capture any action that you have. So right here, I've captured um, uh, some, some copy for a sales page. So I've captured it. The next step is to process it. So, uh, so at some point in time, we'll come through and process all of these actions, whether, you know, these might be um, blog post ideas such as these, uh, this one, this one, lots of blog post ideas. Um, here's like a link to some podcasts um, that you might want to check out. So they might be a whole project or it might be uh, just a, a single task. So let's see, an example of a project would probably be, um, well, the, here is a link to a Lifehacker um, blog post about using Photoshop and here's another one. Um, so this, I can make a project called um, uh, Learn Photoshop or, or something like that. So um, let's switch over to uh, active projects right now. So I'll, I'll, just, I'll make a project. Um, this isn't going to be an active project, but it's going to be a back burner. So this is something that um, I want to do. Uh, it's a project. I want to do it. But I'm going to save it for another time because I, I don't, just don't have any room on my plate right now to, to learn Photoshop. Uh, plus, I don't have Photoshop on my computer. So what I'm going to do is go to Backburners. I'm going to say open up a new note. And my project title is going to be called Learn Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this right here. I'm going to go back to my inbox and I'm going to pull out these links copy paste so there's one link and here's another link okay and then once I move this over to a, uh, an active project, I'm going to put these links into my next actions um, folder notebook. So, so we have, we're going to have the project and we're going to have the actions that make up that project to get it done will be in the next actions. So I'm just going to just tag this as um, as life and just call it good and I'll explain this tagging um, in a second so that's that's the basis of, of the back burner uh, project folder so these are any projects that I want to do later not right now they're not on my plate I can switch these over so if I if I want to have learn Photoshop as an active project I'll just drag that over into my active projects Go to Active Projects, and then you'll see it right here. Learn Photoshop, and then what I'll do is I'll take these and make these into notes, and put those in the next actions. So that I'll, when I do my review, I'll know that I need to read these posts in order to learn Photoshop. That'll be part of how I complete this project. So, like I was saying, of projects. Um, da -da -da -da. So yeah, a project is something that. Uh, will take more than two uh, action steps. It will take more than two tasks to, to finish, to complete it. So uh, that makes a project you know, almost anything, really. Um, that's just not a one offer. That's how I kind of think about it. Um, and what I try to do is, is make sure that my projects are aligned with any of my goals. So for instance, um, I want to do maybe some part-time consulting, some productivity consulting for individuals or businesses um, in the future and so what I'm doing is working on a sales page uh, for my website so I have a project called sales page and I also have actions under my next actions notebook that uh, correlate with it so first of all um, the sales page is tagged under blog because it has to do with my website blog and I also have a tag called services so when I go to my next actions 
um, and I scroll down, I'll see uh, an action called draft sales page. So inside of this note, I have a bunch of copy that I want to use that's going to help me draft a sales page um, or a services page to explain what I, what I do. Um, I also have a, uh, an action called draft the consulting process. So um, I'm going to spell it out how I actually work with people. Um, and if I want to see the specific uh, notes that correlate with uh, that project, um, I have a tag for that, which I tag services. So under, uh, under blog here, I have a tag called services. And right now, uh, uh, my, my, new, my only two actions I have right now is draft sales page and create a, uh, a diagram or a flowchart of everything that happens in the consulting process. So um, that's a little overview of active projects. Um, I also stick my uh, blog post ideas under active projects because there, there's lots of steps of going into uh, creating a blog post. You have to uh, draft it, write it, edit it. You have to, uh, um, I usually do a lot of writing in Evernote itself, so I have to copy and paste, put it into WordPress, figure out a title, you know the drill. So blog posts are really projects. Um, what else? Uh, so that's projects. References. So a reference is um, anything that isn't really actionable, um, but is something that you want to use later. It might help you complete an action, but it itself is not actionable. Okay. So, uh, so for instance, I'll have uh, uh, recipes for food for, uh, for things I want to make. I'll have, um, what else will I have in here? I'll have, you know, uh, workout routines. I'll have uh, uh, receipts that, I'll, that, I'll, that from uh, online purchases. I'll stick them in there. It's a reference. I might need it later. I don't want to delete it. Um, but it might come in handy in the future. So try not to be too into reference material. You want to be actually doing things. And then so my last notebook is called Sharing and the, the notebook under it is called Articles. So on my website I have a, uh, a link to this notebook um, that is open, shared to the public and um, you guys can kind of go in here and see what I've saved. And these are kind of like just cool articles that, I, uh, that I'm sharing with people. So it's, it's kind of like delicious in a way, uh, the way I use it. Um, in, in my past uh, tutorials, I showed you how to, sh to share it. It's really easy. Um, so yeah, those are my notebooks. And let's see, let's go into tagging. So uh, right, one last thing actually with projects is uh, how I use the note portion of, uh, of a project note itself is for um, any brainstorming, uh, outlines, general notes, um, you know, just any ad hoc project thinking. And so David Allen calls this uh, project uh, support material and it's not really actionable but it's it's kind of like your specific reference material for your project um, that's the way I think of it anyway so in here I have this project uh, prep patty for co-creation probably doesn't mean anything to you guys but um, this is just just kind of random things this is from an email um, that I got and so I just want to save everything and put it in here uh, let me see if there's any other good examples. So here, uh, this has to do with a uh, with focus group we're doing at work, and I have uh, just the dates that we're going to be in certain areas, and a little bit of information that I might want to reference, um, and some things I just can't remember, but it's here for my reference. So that's project support material. Um, so let's go into tagging. Um, I use uh, 